You think they ready for this? No, they ain't ready for this. Well, guess what? They better get ready, because on this new channel, everything is going to be awesome. I mean everything. And by the time you leave, guess what? You're going to feel awesome. You ain't everything? Everything. Thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome Lawson, also known as Mama Mario. And you guys, my assistant, it was her first day of school today, so she's sweet. <laughs> but I do have my begging dogs over here shining star. <laughs> but anywho, y'all, I just got some leftover shrimp from um the night before. Um, shrimp, some scallops, I got some boiled eggs, and over here I got some broccoli, because B Love said it tastes good dipped in her sauce. I like her sauce, whatever, I don't care what nobody else thinks, I like it, okay? And I keep it on deck. So I'm going to say my grace, and we're going to get right into some conversation, y'all. Amen. Okay. Yes. Um. But y'all... These topics, I know, and look, this ain't my glitter gloss, so it's going to come off. My glitter gloss that I, I sell, it does not come off. This is regular. It comes off. But, um, relationships, y'all. Let's talk about relationships. I got this on top of this plate because I'm scared it's going to fall I mean, because I want to sit higher up. But it looks <coughs> like it may fall. Oh, it's a little bit more spicy here today. She said when it sit up, it gets more spicier. Oh, this over here. Yeah. Relationships. I cannot, will not, have not, do not plan on Staying in a toxic relationship, y'all. When I find out that it's toxic, the other person is toxic. Because I'm not toxic. But people will try to make it seem like it's you. Okay? People will do that. Are you going to come talk to it together? Like, I speak my mind. And some guys aren't used to that. And it can become toxic if they want me to just shut up or just want me to just, you know, just not say anything. They want, they want that type of woman that don't say too much. You know what I mean? But I just can't. And I see it all the time, y'all. Even when I was younger, I don't even care. If somebody was even taking care of me, if they treated me wrong, I'm tipping. I'm, I will find another way, just like you were taking care of me. Baby, I'll find another you. A better you. <laughs> well, I do not feel like I'm hostage living like in, in prison in a relationship. Mm -mm. I can't talk to you. I can't um, say certain things. I can't do that, man. And being that I'm friends with a lot of guys versus, you know, females. And I've always been like that, even in high school. Um, I see a lot of guys in, like, toxic relationships. Now, hmm. They know they're getting in it before they get in it. Especially the ones that get married to it. They already know. What the problem is. And hoping that it's going to change before they get married. I mean after they get married. My bad. I've known a, couple, a few people like that. Hoping that it change once they get married. <laughs> yeah for the worst. You're supposed to have. You know the your. Um, the qualities you want to see in a person and all that, you're supposed to see that before the marriage. 
not hoping for afterwards. That's crazy. And then, what I've noticed is that some men, and I'm not going to say all, but I've noticed they marry, and this is my opinion, y'all, it's like a butthole. The only thing is, I share mine online. That's what my Facebook page say, my y'all. <laughs> my business page. But I have come across some guys that I feel as though they get married to females that have insecurities, right? And I think that they marry them because they know that they can get away with a lot of things. Like cheating. And I think that I think some of them look for insecure women so that they can cheat. I really do think that. And like I said, these are my opinions. You can get mad at it if you want to. It's still mine. <laughs> I think they do. You know, I I know some of them do. Because I've had genuine conversations with them. And they know that that person has insecurities. And they're, they're able to do whatever. Do whatever they want to do. Because they know nine times out of ten, the woman ain't going to leave. Every blue moon, they'll leave, but not hardly. Because what I noticed with uh, uh, some of the married women, they want to keep up keep up the title to their friends and to their family. It's more about the title than happiness. And this is what I've noticed with people, y'all. I ain't saying y'all, but this is what I've noticed with people. Mm-hmm. And then when I go back to the wife, it's like she's been like, What you thought he was gonna leave me? And it's like, bruh, you need to be leaving him. Like, he ain't gonna leave you because he know he can do whatever he wanna do. I can't. If I ever get married or even in a relationship. That's one thing I do not, I'm not going to have no problem with. And if I do, it's done. All that, that cheating and stuff. Oh, no. Mm -mm. You be, you, when you're single, you can do what you want to do. It is not called cheating. Are you single? Be single. But see, a lot of guys want to be able to come home to somebody. So they don't want to be single because they want somebody to come home to, but they still want to do what they want to do. Which is selfish. Unless you're with somebody that's with it. Mm. Oh. I have known me and them. Then they, first of all, the way the married ones talk about their wives, they will dog their wife out to the next woman. Dog them out, okay? You would not think they said, I do. You would not think they are as one. Thinking that you're going to be with them. They'll send them whole divorce papers. <laughs> I know that for a fact. They will send them whole divorce papers. Yep. Ooh. 
And when I say I know that for a fact, I know it for a fact. And guess what? The woman is still taking them back after that. I just wish um, a lot of women wasn't as insecure and would could basically just have some of me in them. <laughs> Cause I don't take no junk. I'm trying to tell you, I don't take no mess. Mm -mm. Time I see his mess, I'm judging. It's OV. It's OV. Guys be like, you hell. You call it what you want to. You even disrespect me. You're not. In no kind of way. Not now kind of way. Because I don't have to deal with you. I don't have to deal with nobody. It's the bad way to look at it. It's the good way to look at it. Because I'm young. Guys lie for no reason. And I know some women probably do too. But guys got it real bad. They drive different cars. They just woke up this morning. Y'all, these eggs, they taste different. Pay attention to y'all eggs. It tastes a little different, y'all. Not for some y'all. We got to start paying attention to our foods we eat and stuff. Because I really think um, the sense of smell, they put this out there so that we won't be able to taste what they put in these foods, y'all. Once again, my opinion. I don't know if I'm going to eat the other one. I don't know. I should eat this one. <laughs> How many of y'all are married? I ain't just getting married to prove a point, y'all. I'm sorry. Or just for a ring. I bet the ring was and is that he gonna get me and all that. Cause it's about happiness over here with me. Cause when you accept that, it trickles down to your kids and stuff. And they start being in the same type of relationship. And that's a no. It's something I do not want. I mind it being an old messed up relationship. Whether it's from me or not, you just don't want your kids to be in something they ain't got to be in. Anybody. We don't want anybody to. You be like, ain't it crazy how you can see stuff from the outside looking in, like as far as relationships, like that ain't even going to work. <laughs> you be like, now nah, they know that ain't going to work. But y'all be wanting to say that. I have said something before. And to a couple of people. And they cut me off as a friend. I was talking the things that I saw. And I felt like one wasn't going to work. They cut me off. And guess what? Years later, it didn't work. <laughs> I ain't laughing at them, but... I'm not a yes friend. You know what I mean? So, I'm not going to let you walk out the door with some bull crap on. And I'm, I, I know that ain't got nothing to do with it. But what I'm saying is, if I see something that I can detect before happening, I'm going to have that conversation with you just because I'm your friend. Now, you don't have to do what I say. You know what I'm saying? And you don't even have to accept it. But dang, for you to cut me off as a friend... That's what friends do. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people these days don't want true friends. They want yes friends. That's going to just be like, uh-huh, yeah, go along with all their lies and all of that. I'm not that person. That won't have a lot of friends. That won't be around a lot of people. 
Because I'm going to be honest about it. It could be my mom or my dad. I'll be like, no, uh No, that ain't, that ain't it. That ain't what happened. I am. I am ass. It's just crazy how people are flocking to people that are just yes, yes people. Mm-mm. Not me. I don't use the most sauce, y'all. I don't remember giving a little bit of my sauce. <laughs> it's right here, y'all. It ain't far. It ain't far. Y'all ever had that happen where y'all, um, tell y'all friend, oh, shoot, I don't tripped over the light, y'all, but have y'all ever had that to happen where you, um, you know, tell your friend that you don't think something gonna work and they cut you off? <laughs> Comment below if that don't happen to you. That don't happen to me a couple of times, y'all. They wanted me to be a yes friend, man. And guess what? Both of them... <clears throat> I tried to tell them about... <laughs> the relationship they was about to get involved in. Deeply. <clears throat> and I told them the things that I saw on the outside of the room. Or that I thought on the outside of the room. Um, one of the people thought I was a hater. Well, maybe both of them thought it. <laughs> but I know I ain't no hater. I know I'm a friend. And when I'm your friend, I'm genuine. Just period. You know what I'm saying? Whatever I am to you, I'm I'm genuine. I'm genuine and I'm loyal. I'm a Scorpio. So if I'm your, you know, and, and so you cross me. So if I'm your sister, I'm loyal until you cross me. If I'm your daughter, I'm loyal until you cross me. If you know I'm your friend, I'm loyal until you cross me. You know what I'm saying? And not saying that I turn unloyal, but I'm not finna do the things that I would I would normally do for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna do that. And not. Yep. So when you mess up, <laughs> it be over with. And they they be wondering like. Oops. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yup. Especially the guys. You know, guys think they can always call you. No. You done messed up. <laughs> so. At least one of them thought I was a hater. Probably both. And they cut me off. And they went on. And so they, um... <laughs> like relationship and we went trying to be together these are like females i told them about the relationship that you know they was about to take take how you say that take part in partake in <laughs> and they cut me off and it was um they knew i was coming from a place where i was on their side as a matter of fact i said it back it's three people that, that has done that Mm-hmm. Yeah. I wish somebody had warned me about a bull, a BS relationship. I wish I had a friend like me. That see it. You know what I mean? A genuine friend that can see stuff. You know, I, that don't mean, like, get rid of that person, but it's like, you can at least, like, talk to your mate about it. Like, oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Or you, I mean, if you see what they said, you could talk to the person you're with. Like, hey, you know, such and such was saying they seen this. And, you know, is there any explanation for it? You know, what do you think? If, if you brought it to that person you're going to be with. But if it just stayed between you and your friend... You can let them know, like, you know, I don't feel that same way, but I appreciate you for looking out. And that's it. I ain't done it. You know what I'm saying? 
continue to be right on with that person until whatever happened. And we can still be friends. Even after whatever happens. You know what I'm saying? But. They <laughs> they cut me off like a light. <laughs> They're lost. And I said it because I'm a great friend, y'all. Awesome. Shall I say. That broccoli is good dipped in there, y'all. And I kept the florets big. Like, I got fresh broccoli. I didn't get it frozen. And when I cut it, I kept them big so that I could get the um, ginger and onions and stuff on there. I'm going to show y'all one of the hookahs I made today. I will show y'all the other one, but I don't have the hookah kit on it. So I'm going to just show you one that has it on it. Dalvin Walt and Cindy is okay. And the other uh YouTuber, I think his name is Dame Damon. I see people saying something about him that he was sick, so I hope that everybody is pushing through this thing. Mind over matter, mind over matter. You gotta find strength in your pinky toe, man. You really do. Get outside, sit in the garage, get some sunshine or something. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the bathroom, y'all. You know, this vegetable. Then this garlic in them. And then on top of that, I had some watermelon earlier. <laughs> That bathroom, boy. <laughs> okay. Okay, now I'm going to show y'all. I ain't eating out of the egg, y'all, because it, 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 it has that same taste. As um the lettuce that I was telling y'all about, that it, it has this crazy taste like they're spraying it with something that they don't supposed to be sprayed with. Now, if I were to fry this egg, I don't taste it. But when I boil it, I have tasted it before. And another, um, and some more that I have bought. So, y'all, please pay attention to the food that y'all eat. You know what I'm saying? This world is, is becoming real crazy, y'all. And we really have to pay attention to certain stuff. You know what I mean? I'm going to let y'all know. Some of y'all can think I'm crazy and stupid. Y'all can think that if y'all want to. But I still have my taste buds. And I, uh, excuse me, I can taste this stuff, y'all. And I notice a difference. I, I have noticed a difference in, um, Chick-fil-A french fries where I stay, the fries taste different. It, it's a different taste to them, y'all. So just pay attention while y'all eating and stop just throwing it down y'all throat. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to show y'all this hook. So, you guys, this is one of the hookahs and the um, glass he wanted to be made with it. I'm going to have to wash the remedy with my hands 
being such, such and like that. So this is one. I have the pearls down here and the rhinestones up here. I don't know how good y'all can see it. Let me see. Can y'all see it better? Okay, and so the other one that I made, it doesn't have this top. He didn't want any name or anything on it. He just wanted a regular bottle. So the other one doesn't have the hookah stem kit on it yet, but it has the bottle. So basically, I have not put the stem kit on it yet. This is the hookah stem kit. So I haven't put it on this one yet. So he wanted purple. And I put uh, the lips, that's my signature, on each one. And this is the glass that goes with it. So we were going to meet up today. But um, he, I guess he's a trucker. We're meeting up um, Wednesday. So, and I also have to package up one. So, those, that is what I was finishing up today, y'all. For you guys that don't know, I have a hookah business where I personalize hookahs from alcohol bottles. So, um, I provide the bottle. I provide everything. You just provide the money. <laughs> and those are my awesome hookahs. But, you guys, um, I hope you guys stay to the end. And I just want to say, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for tuning in to meet your girl, Miss Awesome, also, also known as Mama Mario. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.